Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to install Nginx Proxy Manager on your Android system. So what Nginx Proxy Manager does is it will help you to uh, forward a domain name to your server's internal applications easily. So but in order to do this you need to have uh, some additional things. Uh, first of all what you need is a public domain. You need to purchase one from a provider like GoDaddy or something, someone like that and additional to the public domain you will need to have a public static IP address so normally everybody gets a public IP but whether it is a static or not it depends so normally uh, if you type what is my IP on Google you will get a public IP address but uh, to make sure it is a static what you can do is uh, easy step is to restart your router and before restarting first check your public IP and restart your router then see again whether the IP address is, change, uh, is changed or not if it isn't changed then that means you have a static IP address uh, if not uh, then that means you have a dynamic IP uh, so you are able to do this uh, using the dynamic IP as well but the problem is the dynamic IP address changes so if it changes then the forwarding function won't work uh, until it changes you can use it but when it changed it, it won't work perfectly so for this to work perfectly you need to have a public static IP as well so first of all what we uh, so in my case I have a public static IP so I'm going to use this one to do these functions so first of all what you need to do is you need to go to your Android uh, apps tab community apps tab and search for engine X proxy manager and click install so here these are some port numbers you don't need to change these things and uh, just apply here and the installation will start after the installation is done press on done and go back to your docker tab and here you will be able to see the nginx proxy manager running so to configure this we will need to go to the web ui of the nginx proxy manager click on it and here you need to enter the uh, email en enter an email and password so for our first login we will need to enter the default username and password which is given under our uh, edit page of the container so the default username is admin at uh, example.com and the default password is change me So after giving those informations you should be able to log into the interface and here you can give a username and password uh, in my case I will give this and for the current password I will give the current change me password and a new password for my system after that is done click save and the new account is created now you are using this account to log into the interface now what we need to do is we need to go to proxy hosts now before configuring this page we will need to uh, go on to the DNS manager of your purchased domain so if you are if you have purchased a, Go Daddy, uh, a domain from GoDaddy or some provider like that you will need to log into their uh, customer page and you will be able to see a DNS manager option under your domain name that you have purchased so in my case uh, I will uh, go to my uh, system my, my uh, domain providers uh, DNS page so this is my DNS uh, name providers uh, DNS manager page so in here uh, my domain name is kptechtips.com so in under my name I'm going to give, uh, create a, a subdomain uh, for this uh, main domain name so I have already created some but I will show you how to do it so first of all what you need to do is you need to click add record and under add record sorry you will need to click on the plus icon the drop down and in your case it might differ but you will need to select something called record a so this is the one we need to select because the public ip we get is an ip version 4 address so normally record a stands for ip version 4 and this one stands for ip version 6 as we have a public ip uh, address from IP version 4 we need to select record day and for the valid zone name uh, whatever the name that you want you can give whatever the name you want 
in my case i'll just uh, show you an example i will name give this at something like this and the ttl value and leave it as it is the type will be a and the ip address for this one will be the public ip address that we just saw so i will just copy this here and paste it after that is done you should be able to see something like this so i have already added some names under plex and mb so i'm going to show you how to access these uh, things from plex and mb uh, systems so now what we need to do is we need to verify uh, whether they are working so to verify we need to uh, add them to the nginx proxy server but before adding them uh, we need to link them to our internal network so as this name is a public domain the public domain name doesn't know what to access inside my network so for this system to understand what is inside my system first uh, the path should be made for the path to be made we need to log into the router's interface so log in into your router and you will need to find an option called port 40 so in my case i have it under virtual service and under port 40 so here we need to add the port number for the nginx proxy server so the default port number for nginx is 1880 so that is for the http request and for https 18443 so as i am running a http request uh, option i am going to select this port and i'm going to edit so for the internal port this will be the port number and for the external one this will be 80 because normally we won't uh, add uh, other ports if so if you add a separate uh, different port from 80 which is the standard one uh, then you will need to uh, type uh, the port every time uh, you access this domain name so in my case i will not do that and the ip address of my server so after doing these things press ok and now the port forward is done now what we need to do is we need to go to the nginx proxy manager at proxy host and for the domain name i will enter the plex one plex.kptechtips.com for the forward host na uh, name or ip address uh, i will give the local ip of my server which is this one and the forward port will be the container port which is the one i'm going to access remotely which is the plex server so the default port for plex server is 32400 so i will add that port here and click save so after doing so what should happen is when you type this domain name on your browser you should be able to access this server directly without having to type the 32400 port every time you access this uh, domain name so as I, I will show you now if i click here i am taken to the plex interface but no additional port is given here so just like that you are able to configure nginx proxy server on your android server uh, easily so i hope this uh, video is helpful to you and uh, i hope uh, there are some questions that you might need answering so please leave a comment uh, if you have so uh, if not please uh, like and subscribe my channel and share this video so thank you guys for watching have a nice day